Hey guys, said something kind of interesting happened to me. Uh, it, it was a first actually in 20 years. I had some folks that I had been talking to on the phone and we had emailed back and forth and they had made an appointment with me to come view like three or four condos. And a couple days before they were going to get here, they sent me an email and said they decided to try to find an agent who was more available to them, which I understand if, if they felt like I couldn't meet up with them or whatever, although I felt like we had uh, made a date that agreed with both of our schedules. It just got me thinking. It really bothered me that that someone thought that I wasn't available. Um, am I busy? Yes, extremely busy. And I get appointments made, especially on weekends, like weeks in advance, especially this time of year, springtime-ish. Uh, everyone wants to come on a weekend and everyone wants to buy something before summer starts. So I do get booked out sometimes three or four or five weekends ahead. But I do my best to try to do multiple people in a day, especially on Saturdays and Sundays. And I will work past dark. Um, very often I will go three or four months without a day off. So I, I was thinking to myself, what could I do differently or how could I explain to people that I am available to them because I try to respond to emails and phone calls and texts as fast as I possibly can. And I try to get people down here to see property as soon as uh, they can get here and I can get them in. Um, and I was thinking to myself, hmm, I wonder if anyone has ever considered, these folks have ever considered that a busy person means it's a person who has lots of people wanting to work with them, which means I must be doing something right, I think. Um, and someone who is slower or more available or less booked, maybe they don't have the experience and the knowledge that I have. Maybe they don't uh, have any other clients, um, which is okay if you're a new agent. Um, but, you know, it's worth checking into, I think, and looking up the agent that you're thinking about working with, checking out their Zillow reviews, if they even have any, uh, checking out any client testimonials on a website or anything like that to see if you're working with the right agent. Those are just my thoughts. Thanks. Bye.